Hi guys, it's Ben Heath from Lead Guru, and in this video, I'm going to show you the one key to success with Facebook ads. And I've got an Excel document up in front of me with some numbers to help explain how this works. But um, I'm sure you're intrigued by the title. In my opinion, the one key to success with Facebook ads is to score at least a 70. Okay, that might sound a bit confusing. Don't worry, I'm going to explain. Now, before I get into these details on the left-hand side, which I will do in a minute, I want to cover this stuff right up here at the top. So here I've got some numbers from an example Facebook ad campaign. Um, and here I'm using an e-commerce business, but you could apply this to a service business as well. So don't worry that, that it's not, not applicable. This can apply to all businesses running Facebook ad campaigns. So let's assume that you've run a Facebook ad campaign, right? And your cost per purchase is coming out at $25 each. So on average, it's costing you $25 to acquire a new customer. Let's assume that your average order value, so how much revenue, how many sales you're generating from that customer on their first transaction is $35. That means that your return on ad spend, or ROAS, that it's, uh, is the shortened version, is 1.4. I'm going to assume that in the case of this business, your margin on your products is 50%. So your cost of goods is going to be 50% the value of the sales. Hopefully that makes sense. So very, very simply, you generate $35 worth of sales, you have to pay out $17.50 worth to the manufacturer. Or if you're a service based business, perhaps you're paying out 50% of the value of the contract to your employees or your subcontractors or however your business is, is uh, set up. Okay, with those numbers, you're generating either a profit or a loss in this case, a loss of $7.50 per new customer acquired. Now, the way we get to that is very, very simply, you have your average order value, so how much each sale is worth, you deduct your cost per purchase, and you deduct your cost of goods, and that's how much you've got left, or in this case, uh, a negative number. Now, there are some businesses that are okay with running a Facebook ad campaign and generating a $7.50 loss um, to acquire new customers. The vast majority aren't, and this would not be a sustainable way to run Facebook ad campaigns. Yes, there is lifetime value in customers, but a $7.50 loss per new customer is a really big loss to eat up front. Now, I've created all sorts of videos around increasing your average order value and ways you can use upsells and stuff like that. So check out my YouTube channel for things along those lines. That's increasing this number here, which is one way to improve your ROAS and improve your profit profitability. But the purpose of this video and what I think most Facebook advertisers are trying to do when they run Facebook ad campaigns is reduce their cost per purchase. When people talk about a high performing Facebook ad campaign, they're usually talking about a Facebook ad campaign that generates purchases or leads for a very low and very profitable amount. So how do you go about reducing your cost per purchase from $25 to something that is a lot more profitable? Because if, for example, we were to change that to $10, you can see that that number, instead of being a $7.50 loss, becomes, I didn't mean to do that, I wanted to click the green one to show that it's profitable, um, becomes a $7.50 no fail profit. Okay, just by changing this cost per purchase from $25 to $10, you still got that number, you take away your cost of goods, you take away your cost per purchase, and you're making $7.50 profit, which is a very profitable Facebook ad campaign. You can acquire customers with that method nicely, you can build a big customer base, you can sell to them again, happy days. So let's take this back to 25. That goes to negative 750. I like to just use red and green because red's a loss, green's a profit, just makes things easier when you're taking a look. How do we get this number down from $25? Well, that's what the one key to success is with Facebook ads. If you can get, and we're gonna explain this stuff now on the left-hand side, this total above a 70, you will almost certainly get that cost per purchase low enough to run a profitable Facebook ad campaign. So what have we got going on over here? What I've done is I've broken up all the basic elements of a Facebook advertising sales funnel into 10 component parts, okay? We've got 10 component parts, campaign setup, targeting, et cetera, et cetera. I'm gonna go through these. What you need to do to really be successful with Facebook ads is to score an average of a seven out of 10 on each of these 10 options, giving you a total of 70 plus. Now, hopefully you don't see it as misleading, the title saying one key to success with Facebook ads being a 70. The truth is that there's no one individual thing that's going to make your Facebook ad successful. You can't just get the targeting right and everything else work. Nothing in marketing, in business works like that. You need to have 
elements in place performing well in order to get this to work. Okay, so it's really, really important. So the one key to success, as I said, hopefully it doesn't sound misleading, is to average a really good score across all your elements. So what does that look like? Okay, let's say the $25, we've got campaign setups nearly perfect. So we've got a nine there. But your targeting is really poor. Let's say that's a two out of 10. Your delivery, which refers to things like placement options and stuff like that. Let's say that's a four out of 10. Um, let's assume you've got a pretty good product. So let's give that a seven out of 10. But you're selling it for too much, a four out of 10. It's just too expensive. You can People can find products elsewhere. Your introductory offer, perhaps you don't have an initial discount or anything like that. Perhaps that's a one out of 10. Maybe your ad creative, you know you've done a good job with your ad creative. You're pretty proud of it. You put a lot of time into the copy and the imagery in the videos. Let's give that an eight out of 10. Oh, we've got to separate ad creative and ad copy. Let's say that, that that's good as well. You know, both the creative and the ad copy are really solid. Your eight out of 10. Let's say your landing page is, it could do some work. Let's give it a sort of middle five out of 10. And let's take a look at your sales funnel. Perhaps you've been through one of my trainings. You've got the perfect sales funnel. We can give that a 10 out of 10. So you can see here that right now we're totaling a 58. 58 out of 100 because there's score out of 10 out of these. And the total is obviously out of 100. In fact, let me put that in here. Make it really obvious. So the total is out of 100. We're scoring a 58. And that produces a cost per purchase of 25. What you need to do is go through all the various elements and really be honest and think, is this ad creative good enough? Could we improve that? Is the, you know, the, the product, how really good is this product? Could we add something to the product? And the product could be the service, you know, actual physical product, price point. Is that really the best price that we can offer? Or are we being, you know, a little bit short-sighted by trying to charge more? And then you can go through the various elements. So let's say your campaign setup is nine. Great. We know the campaign, say so you've been through some of my trainings, you know the campaign setup's right, we're happy with that. Targeting. Yeah, you know what? If I'm perfectly honest with myself, with my targeting, I am um, just sort of, grabbed a few interest targeting options that I thought sounded good. I didn't really do my research. So that's a two out of 10. Great. So that's a potential area for improvement. So perhaps you could go through my Facebook audience insights video to find some great cold audience targeting options. I'll include a link to that video in the video description in case you want to go through that. Perhaps you work out how to create lookalike audiences and you create some lookalike audiences based off previous customers, you know, and you get that up to, let's say an eight out of 10. Well, we've gone from a 58 to a 64 by improving that one element. That might mean that your cost per purchase comes down to let's say $18, okay? We're still slight loss, but getting closer to the sort of numbers we want to be uh, operating with. Let's say that your price point can't change. You know the price point is at a four, you'd really want it to be much better, um, but you're not interested in competing on price with your competitors, it's not the sort of business model you want. Okay, if the price point can't improve, perhaps the introductory offer can. So instead of just advertising the product or service, perhaps you could bundle something in with your other product. So when you buy one of these, you get one of these other things free. Perhaps you can incentivize your service by offering something um, in addition to what your customers would expect, what your competitors are offering. And perhaps you can improve your introductory offer up to something like a six. Now we've reached a 69, you know, that introductory offer could make a big, big difference. And that might reduce our cost per purchase to let's say $14. Now we're slightly profitable. I'm gonna make that green because we've gone from a loss to a profit. Now we're slightly profitable. Okay, let's take a look at some of these other elements. All right, great, landing page. That's pretty low at a five. Maybe you're not a designer, I'm not. So I'm terrible personally at design. I have to hire people to do design. I tried to do it myself at the beginning and everything just looks awful. I'm much more comfortable with numbers and strategy and targeting options and things like that. And we all have our strengths and weaknesses. So I know that I have to outsource my design work. So perhaps you get a designer on board and you say, look, I'd really like you to create me some custom graphics on this landing page. Let's really make this look fantastic. And perhaps that person's really, really good at their job and they can get you up to a nine. Boom, we are now averaging a 73. So perhaps that takes your cost per purchase down to $10. Now, obviously I'm just sort of plucking numbers, you know, I, I'm sort of giving you examples here. This is not actually what happened. Oh, and by the way, your cost per purchase coming down will give you a $7.50 profit. But you can see the sort of thing I'm talking about when I say you have to average, in my opinion, above a 70. If you have all these elements of your Facebook ad campaign dialed in, the chance of success is enormous. And what I see a lot of people make the mistake doing is they think, I've got a great product and my targeting options are great. So, you know, they might have 10 and 10 in product, but 
I take a look at, you know, some of their stuff and perhaps their landing page is just awful. They haven't got the right campaign set up. There's probably two in there. Um, the ad creative really needs some work. And you can see that, yes, you've ticked two out of the 10 boxes you need to tick. But your average is too low to have success. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. The other thing I want to highlight about all these elements is that not everything needs to be perfect. You need to average above a 70. OK, so let's assume, for example, that your ad copy was really quite poor. You hadn't put any time and effort into it, but your landing page was phenomenal. Your introductory offer was a nine out of ten. Um, the price point of your product was super competitive at an eight out of ten. Let's assume that your campaign setup is really well put together. You can. We've achieved a 75 here. You can achieve a 70 plus score, which as you know, is the one key to success with Facebook ads, is to get about a 70, even if some elements of your Facebook ad campaign perform really, really poorly. I can think of perfect examples of businesses we've worked with where their product is incredible, it's an amazing price point, and they have an introductory offer. So if we go in to have a look at our numbers and we go 10, 10, 10 in those three, that gives you a lot of leeway to perhaps not have the best you know, landing page, uh, perhaps your ad copy and creative aren't as good as they'd like them to be, but you can still see success. Now, the best Facebook advertisers are obviously going to work their way through this list and they're going to go about improving all the various elements. So here's what I encourage you to do, particularly if you're looking at numbers like we originally had where you're making a loss. You run a Facebook ad campaign and it's not worked for you. Go through these 10 elements. Go through my videos. I've got videos on every single one of these and go through them and go, right, I reckon my campaign setup, I'm not so sure if that's the right way. You know, it's a four right now. How can I get that to be a seven plus? And then go through the list of everything. Go through the targeting, as I said. Do I need to create some lookalikes? Do I need to do some more research in Facebook's audience insights? Let's improve my targeting options. Do I just need to spend some more time testing different targeting options? Delivery, which placement options perform best for my products and services? Have you been into the breakdown data of your Facebook ad account and gone, you know what, actually Instagram stories works really well for us. Let's remove some of the other placements that don't, focus on the placements that work and get that up to an eight. Product, is there anything you can do with the product? Sometimes yes, sometimes no. Price, is that the lowest price point you, you are happy to offer your product at? Would you actually be willing to acquire customers with 20% lower pricing that outcompetes all your competitors? Potentially. Introductory offer. What can you offer on the front end that really helps improve your campaign? Don't have to get it to a 10, but if you get it to a 7, that can really help things. And creative. Do you need to hire someone? Do you need to hire a photographer, a videographer to create some really nice creative? Um, you know, do you need to just put some more time and effort into this thing? Or maybe a graphic designer to put some graphics together. Get that up to an 8. Add copy. You know, Work with a professional agency or spend some real time and think about that. Go into the Facebook ad library and take a look at some of your competitors. Get that up to maybe a seven. Landing page, as I said, maybe hire a, a designer like I have to do. Maybe hire a copywriter. Perhaps put some real time and effort into it yourself if you don't have the finances. And let's assume we've got the campaign set up, up to something like an eight. The higher you can get this total out of 100, the lower this cost per purchase is going to be. And perhaps with this sort of setup where everything is seven plus and you've got some tens and just the campaign is performing brilliantly and you've put lots of time and effort into it, you've got an 86 and that brings your cost per purchase down to $6. I have seen results like this and your profit on each new customer is $11.50. Now, just to sort of demonstrate the advantages of this, the difference between your cost per purchase being $6 and you generating $11.50. In fact, let's, let's take a different example. The difference between your cost per purchase being $15 and you making $2.50 per purchase and your cost per purchase being $20 and you losing, let's make that red, keep it consistent, and you losing $2.50 per customer acquired is everything. Reducing that cost per purchase from just $20 to $15, which might only mean improving a couple of these elements over here on the left, could be the difference between you not being able to run a Facebook ad campaign and you having a business that does a million dollars a year or more. Because if you can acquire customers at even a small profit, let's go make it green again, like $2.50 means that you can acquire customers at massive scale, build an enormous customer base, then retarget to those people, uh, market to them again via email, and you can grow a very successful, very large company. So, 
be patient, be detail oriented. Don't just think, oh, I've got a couple of these elements right, it's gonna work. Go through each element and improve them. And if you can get this average down here, total out of 100 to be over 70, in my opinion, you've got the one key to success with Facebook ads. You've taken care of all the individual elements which you have to take care of. There's no getting around that. And your campaign is um, very, very likely to succeed. And as I said, you might think, oh, what's the point in going through all that effort of getting my cost per purchase down from $20 to $15? The answer is everything. That could change everything about your business if you can acquire customers at a profit, even a small one, versus making a loss. Okay, so hopefully that video has been very useful. I'm sure it's gonna have loads of questions. So pop those in the comments below. Let me know if, if you enjoyed this, if you want me to create more stuff like this. I'm a bit more numbers orientated than most people, so I'm very happy to explain this stuff. Um, if you enjoyed it, let me know. If you've got questions, as I said, I will get to them. Um, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Click the little bell notification when you do subscribe. And that way you'll be notified when I release more Facebook advertising, digital marketing related videos. Uh, one other thing I want to quickly mention before I go is our Facebook advertising services. So if you don't want to go through all of these 10 elements and improve them yourself, we can handle a lot of that for you. So my company, Lead Guru, is a specialist Facebook advertising agency. And... Um, if you're spending more than $3,000 a month, that's our minimum budget to work with us or want to spend above that point, then I'd love to have a chat with you. There'll be a link in the video description below where you can book a free 30 minute strategy session with me. And it's very informal and we can just discuss how our service works. So you can find out more information. I can find out more about your business and we can see if we uh, will be a good fit for you. We've probably worked with a business similar to yours. We work in just about, you know, in most verticals, I would say. Um, so yeah, so if you want us to take this off your hands and, and really help improve your Facebook advertising performance, as I said, I've already explained that if you can get your cost per purchase in this scenario down from $20 to $15, that means everything for your Facebook advertising efforts. That's just the sort of thing that we will most likely be able to achieve for you and your company. We've got a track record of delivering fantastic results. Okay, that's uh, enough from me. Best of luck with your Facebook ad campaigns, guys, and I will talk to you soon. Bye for now.